Hello friends, it's me Alfredo. Okay, today we want to show you a, a very common problem with this car. This is a 2010 Ford Taurus with a 3.5 liter engine. Okay, now uh, the, we're going to save you some time on, on diagnosing a, a leak from your engine. So if you see that your engine is leaking fluid and or and you take it and you start, uh, you can notice that the fluid is coming from around this area, which is the alternator area. Uh, and if you have the chance to put the car in the air on a hoist and actually pinpoint where the where the fluid is coming from, it's hard to see. You can't see it because the alternator is on the way. So, uh, just to save you some time, we're gonna give you a little secret, okay? If, if the, you see that the fluid is coming, you see that this is the alternator right here? This is the alternator pulley? Okay, now if you see that your fluid is coming like from this area behind, like this area, you can't see it. This area behind the alternator, between the alternator and the engine block. Okay, 99% of chances is that it's going to be your water pump. Your water, pump, your water pump is leaking. Now, I wanna show you here. I wanna show you here. So if you take the alternator out, if you take the alternator out, okay, uh, you can see there is something called the coolant whip hole, which is this guy right here, this is a little orifice. It's designed to leak the coolant because the coolant, the, the, the water pump in this car is run by, by the timing chain. In the timing chain chamber, there is oil, okay, from the engine. So if the, when the, once the seal on the shaft of the water pump goes bad, the coolant starts leaking through that shaft. And this is designed so that that coolant doesn't get into the engine oil, but is leaked out of the engine through the coolant whip hole. So this guy right here, and like I was telling you, is located right behind your alternator. Right behind the alternator. You can't see it, it's really hard to see, unless you take the alternator out. So, the good news is that now you know what it is. The bad news is that it's a huge job to replace that water pump. According to the book, it's a 12.1 hour labor job. The part is like, hundred dollars but you got 12.1 hour labor because you gotta disassemble you know you gotta take the the timing chain cover which is which there is no gasket is a you got your uh, uh, RTB or, or silicone a gasket on it so when, once you take it out it's really big and you gotta clean it really good so it's a big job but there you have it it is what it is okay so if you, have, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and give us some thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment below. And thank you for watching. See you next time.